The ugly side of remove wall between kitchen and dining room before and after kitchen The kitchen is thought to be a make or break room for potential customers. Once you choose to remodel the kitchen and start removing kitchen soffits, it is a terrific time to make several other decisions. The kitchen is the ideal example which you don't need to devote a whole lot of money to earn a significant impact. Kitchens are definitely the most hard-working room in the house. A U-shaped kitchen is among the most space-efficient designs, and is ideal for smaller kitchens. Small kitchens may seem to be a design challenge, but they may also be functional, stunning and productive. Planking the ceiling proved to be a wonderful option and actually saved us lots of repair work. While it could be physically connected to the ceiling, it doesn't support the ceiling. Check to see whether it is possible to get rid of the dropped ceiling and gain 6 inches to a few feet in height. Alternately, if you're planning to eliminate the wall yourself, utilize a structural engineer to counsel you on the job, particularly with respect to the support RSJ required to guarantee no difficulties. As a consequence, it's usually very simple to take out the wall structurally. The opposite wall consists of another range. If you own a wall, then you can proceed and back a bit of furniture up to it without issue. For new door openings, the top portion of the old wall is going to be left in situ above the new opening, called the downstand. To begin with, internal walls can play a major function in holding buildings with each other. So in some instances, ripping them out can be structurally unwise. To begin with, you should have walls. It can be scary to consider about tearing walls out of your property, but don't be intimidated. The wall didn't feel to be a full unit. You don't need to take down the full wall to acquire a more open feeling. The new fuss about remove wall between kitchen and dining room before and after live in the house for a couple of months and receive a feel for it before you get started making major modifications. Like moving or removing walls. Painting a room is a simple, inexpensive DIY project and you may do it. Removing kitchen soffits is not so difficult. But there are a few things you should consider before you begin ripping them out. Therefore, if you're craving a new style for your dated kitchen, shelves may be the perfect, economical solution. Finding the best remove wall between kitchen and dining room before and after there are quite a lot of techniques to brighten up your house with lights. Since you may see, there are a great deal of approaches to update your house without the messy overhaul or huge cost of remodeling. When you are prepared to update your home, removing kitchen soffits may be among the actions you need to take. If you own a basement, the beam locations will let you know where the big bearing walls are basically over the beams. To begin with, locate a space in your house you can use, whether it's the basement, the garage, or an outdoor room or outbuilding like a shed. In a renovation, if you aren't planning to redo both rooms, you might be disappointed with taking the wall down and it might lead to yet another renovation as a way to properly coordinate both spaces. You've got and added a new room to your property. While it looked so far better, we chose to take out the tile altogether in late August when replacing the carpeting. Your rug shouldn't be so big that it covers your whole dining room. A rug may set the tone for the entire room. Changing out my rug made a big difference in the entire appearance of my dining room. The shelf starts right over the outlet. Needless to say, you will also have to eliminate the cabinets hanging from the soffit. Removing the previous cabinets is a significant project in and of itself. The nuances of remove wall between kitchen and dining room before and after based on how old the furniture is and the sort of wood, removing musty smells can be challenging. If painting your furniture seems like an excessive amount of work, you can concentrate on the section of the wall just over the countertops. Colorful and distinctive, hand-painted furniture is a fantastic way to express your personal style. It's easy to do because they are typically made from wood and simply nailed to the ceiling.